Hi there, Alex here at mixinglessons.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the API summing extension in Luna. The API summing extension can be added to any of the bus tracks or the main track in Luna. And it allows you to add the color and the saturation and the compression and the character that you would associate with the bus channels on an API console into your mix. So let's start by adding a bus channel to our mix and assigning the API summing extension to that channel. So if we go to track and new tracks, and then we select bus for the type of track that we're going to add, we won't add a tape extension and we won't add the console extensions for now. We're just gonna to listen to this summing extension. And so here you have the option to add your summing extension. If you have the Luna Pro bundle, then you will have the API summing extension. There is also a Neve summing extension, which is available to buy separately if you want to. But for now, we're gonna look at the API summing extension. And so we add that bus track to our mix. And you can see here that we have the summing extension in place. If you didn't add the summing extension at that point, if you had just added a bus channel to your mix without the summing extension, then you would simply go here where it says summing and you can add the extension there. So because this is a bus channel, obviously we need to send whatever tracks to this channel that we want to process through this bus channel. So let's group the drums quickly and we're gonna send all of these drum tracks to this bus channel. And so now each of these individual tracks, the kick, snare, hi-hat, and the tom and cymbals, which I have on individual tracks, each of these are gonna be sent to this bus channel and they will be processed through the API summing extension. So let's have a listen to what this summing extension sounds like. We'll start with the track bypassed and I'll then switch it on and you should be able to hear a bit more color and a bit more saturation. And listen in particular to the kick drum and the snare drum because I think that's where this is most obvious. So let's have a look at the controls that we have on this API summing extension. So we have two main controls. We have a headroom control and a trim control. So the headroom parameter increases or decreases the amount of headroom that we have in the summing extension. And in turn, that increases or decreases the amount of color or the amount of saturation that we get from the summing extension. So you can use this in one of two ways. You can either turn this parameter like this, or you can double click to reveal a list of decibel options. Now, as you can see, this runs from plus four decibels to plus 28 decibels. 16 decibels is the default value. And so the way that this works is the further clockwise that you go, the higher the decibel value, and in turn, the lower the headroom, and so the more color and the more saturation you get from the summing extension. And then the further counterclockwise that you go, the lower the decibel value would be, so the higher the amount of headroom you would have, and so the less color or saturation you would get from the summing extension. And so you can simply think of it like this, the further clockwise, the more of the saturation and the character you'll get from the summing extension, and the further counterclockwise, the less of the color and the saturation you'll get. So let's have a listen, and I'll move the headroom from one side to the other to see if we can hear a little bit of the difference there. And so as you can hear there, the further clockwise you go, the more you can hear the saturation and the character of the summing extension, whereas the further counterclockwise, the less of that character we can hear. Now I'll play this again so that you can have another listen and I'll move the headroom clockwise and counterclockwise. And something that you'll notice as I do that is that this is gain compensated. So there shouldn't be a big difference in the level that's coming out of the summing extension when I change the headroom. It should compensate for that. So 
So you can hear there the difference where we have more saturation and less saturation. And you can also hear the fact that there isn't a big change in level when we change the headroom. Now, having said that, if you do need to control the level that's coming out of the API summing extension, then you can do that. There is a trim option. And so you can increase the level coming out of the summing extension or decrease it, or you can double click and you can enter a decibel value between minus six and plus six decibels. Now, obviously something that will affect the amount of saturation that you get from the summing extension is how loudly you're feeding signals into this bus channel to begin with. So if you were in a situation where you weren't getting enough of the character that you were looking for from the summing extension, and you turned the headroom all the way clockwise so you were getting as much as you could, one thing you could do is turn up the level of the individual channels that are feeding that bus. But quite often that might not necessarily work for you. Perhaps if you're further on in the mixing process and you've already applied automation, for example, then you won't necessarily be able to change the level of those individual channels. And there could be other reasons why those channels are set the way they are for a reason and you don't want to alter that. So something that you can do if you want to send more signal into this API summing extension is you can go to this utility section here and you can use the trim feature. And what that will allow you to do is send more or less signal into the summing extension. So let's have a look at that. I'm going to turn the trim level down because I'm going to be sending more signal into the summing extension. So I want to control how much signal is coming out of the summing extension as well. And I'll start this playing and I'll increase the amount of signal that's going into the summing extension by increasing the trim in the utility section. And you should hear a lot more of the saturation and a lot more of the character of this summing extension. So I think that that makes the effect very obvious. And so something you can do if you need to control the level that's going into the bus channel is you can do that via that utility trim option. Now, I suppose there may be instances where you want to create an effect like that and you want to create a very saturated sound using this summing extension. But more often than not, this is used more subtly and it's used to just add a slight character, a slight texture and a slight color to your mixes. And quite often I will actually leave this on the default position of 16 decibels for the headroom. Quite often I won't change the trim at all and I'll mix into the summing extensions on the bus channels and on the main track and it can add depth and punch and character to your mixes in a very subtle way. Now, if you're somebody who records and mixes music in a home studio or a project studio, for example, and you want to learn more about applying things like EQ and compression in your mixes, or you want to learn how to record vocals to a great standard in your home studio, then I've got three free guides that I think you'll find really, really useful. I've got an EQ cheat sheet, a compression cheat sheet, and a vocal recording guide. And you can get all three of those completely free when you head over to mixinglessons.com slash free dash downloads. Also, if you're interested in learning more about using Luna, I'll leave a video on screen, which is my review of the mixing process in Luna, which I think you'll find interesting. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you again next time.